Hello, some people have been asking how to uh, make the second leg, so uh, I'm going to try and do that now. Uh, the first thing to do, well, I'll just um, select everything and clear the rotation and location of all the bones um, in this pose. Alt R to clear the rotations and Alt G to clear the positions. Uh, so that's a start. Oopsie. Um, uh, now I need to make all the bones visible, so I'm going to go to uh, the layers here and check out all the different. I'm just cycling through the layers here to see which ones have bones on them. So, because it's, it's been a while since I made the other video, so I need to check again. So it, it seems like just those two two layers have bones on them. So that's fine. Um, so I've made those two visible. Uh, now, uh, if I go into edit mode and press A to try and select everything. Uh, of course, this. Well, not not all the bones are selected because not all the bones are selectable. <coughs> uh, so I can change that in the um, in the uh, outline of view here. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned. Basically, what I'm going to do is to select all the bones, then duplicate them, and hopefully it'll work. So, um, uh, well, I'll, I'll try and get that. I'll get that far, and then I'll see what problems crop up at that point. So I'm going to. I've come to the armature here in the outline view. I'm just going to open all these, um, all these thingies here, all the hierarchy out, so I can see all the bones. Uh, and it's just these three which are not selectable. <coughs> so I just clicked on those arrows. You can see that's not selectable at the moment. If I click on it, it makes it selectable. So if I press A again two times, it deselects and then selects everything. And this time it's worked. Uh, but I don't want to duplicate the hip because <coughs> um, you know you only need one hip so uh, you'll need one hip bone so I've just deselected that by sh pressing shift and right click on it uh, now, I'm, now I've just got the bones I need selected so I'm going to press shift D and um, oops actually I'm going to right click to cancel that and then control Z to undo it hopefully I haven't screwed everything up there Okay, I'm just going to select everything again, and then deselect the hip again. Uh, the reason I undid that was because I really wanted to be in the front view uh, to do this operation. So I pressed 1 to come into the front view. Now I'm going to duplicate the selected bones by pressing Shift D, and then Control to lock to the grid, and then just, uh, left clicking to con confirm that location there. And there are the bones. Uh, uh, basically in the correct positions, but uh, if I tab out of edit mode into pose mode we might see some weird stuff happen. No, it looks, it looks fairly okay. Uh, let's check if this is still working. This is the football control. Yep, that's working fine. Um, and the foot tumble control. Uh, I've, heard that <coughs> I've heard that these ones won't work, and yep, sure enough. It's all a little bit odd. Why is that movable in that direction there? How peculiar. Was that always like that? Maybe it was. Press N. Um, you can see that the this can be moved in the X direction as well. Sh shouldn't be able to do that. So I'm just gonna. I just pressed N to bring up this um uh, what you call it properties panel or something. And I've pressed. Uh, and so I'm, I'm gonna lock the X location axis for that bone. Now it can only move up and down. I'm going to do the same for this bone too. Just locked it. I'm going to press N again to hide that. Uh, but you can see that um, uh, that the uh, the uh, roll control on the new leg that we made isn't working. And I guess neither is this. No, it's not. The, the knee is working fine. So that's good. And the location and the that means that the IK constraints are all set up okay. Um, that seems to be rotating more or less how it should do. Yep, all fine. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, pause the video, pause the recording for a second. I'm going to investigate uh, why this isn't working, then I'm going to report back to you, and hopefully uh, uh, go through the how to fix it in a moment. See you in a bit. Right. So I've had a little look around, and I think I know why it's not working. Um, basically. Uh, if you uh, remember how this um, uh, 
how this control works. It uh, plays back an animation on this bone. Uh, oh, no, not that bone. <laughs> on this bone. Uh, and uh, on this bone, I believe. Let's have a look at that. Let's lift it up now. And you can see when I pull it up, the uh, the green bone there at the bottom is rotating like this. And when I pull it down, the uh, green bone at the back there is rotating. Uh, that's done using uh, an animation which is held in an action. Um, the constraints were copied across correctly and uh, when I move this up and down um, the constraint is playing back the animation from that same action on this bone but in that action there is no animation on this bone because we haven't put it in. We've put in an animation on this bone and on this bone uh, but we didn't put one in on this bone or on this bone so that actually makes it fairly simple all we have to do hopefully fingers crossed is to go to the um, uh, go to the uh, action that we animated this and this bone in and uh, add in an animation for this bone and this bone uh, doing the same thing so I think I'll stop this video now and uh, I'll actually do the fix in the next video which shouldn't take too long so hopefully see you soon